Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 46. So today we're going to tackle the last of the design-based assets that you can create inside of KW Command. That is email designs to be used inside of email campaigns and smart plans. So let's dive into it. We know our designs icon here is our paintbrush so we're going to dive into that applet <clears throat> and we're going to go to create design as we have done for the last several days and today we're going to choose an email based design and choose next from here we're going to get a template library of email design assets that have already been created on your behalf by kwri you can see there are 73 of these templates in total you're going to, going to want to click on load more to see all of them. So you'll have to do it several times. It basically loads eight at a time. And you could go through and see all of the different styles and um, you know, messages and methods with which you could communicate to your database about a wide variety of things. Um, one of the most popular email blasts that I see go out is when someone has a brand new property, they want to send out a just listed email. So we're going to demo that today. I'm going to find this modern just listed email template. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and then choose next to open it. Now this editor is completely different from the editor that we used previously for our print based assets and our social based assets. So just a heads up that this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, first thing you'll see in the top left hand corner is the ability to name your design. So we're going to go and just add 2422 Fawn Lake Circle to the front of that. So that way we know which one this one is. I totally butchered the spelling of that name. There we go. Um, next up on this screen, you're going to see there are some options here on the right hand side. So we can preview what this email will look like at any point. We can always decide to send out a test email. I highly recommend doing that. And you could choose to download this template into an HTML format in case you are using a email provider that is not command mail. So you could actually design your email inside of designs and then utilize that in a different platform such as you know, Constant Contact, MailChimp, something similar. Uh, finally, at the top, you've got the ability to save your design or exit out of designs in full. Next up, we've got our preview mode. So you've got three different icons for preview. What will it look like on a desktop? What will this email look like if the receiver is using a tablet? And what will this email look like if a receiver is receiving it on their iPhone or Android device, mobile device? We'll go back to desktop. Next up, you've got the ability to view all of your components, which is sort of the stock view. You can also see what it looks like in preview view. So here's preview mode, showing you what this email will actually look like. And then you've also got the ability to redo, undo or redo any actions that you've taken. Below that, you actually get the body of the email design that has already been created on your behalf. And again, all of, this items, all of these items have already been entered into this email for you. But essentially, everything on this left-hand side, it's just a series of all of these sort of widgets that are available on the right-hand side. So uh, tomorrow I may show you how to create one from scratch. Today we're just gonna edit the one we already have. But if we go into the preview mode, you can quickly see the things that need to be previewed, or pre <laughs> need to be edited, excuse me. Market Center logo, good to go. Just listed, good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna to need to put something here for the image. I'm gonna to need to change the address, the price, the bedrooms, bathrooms, and square footage. I'm gonna to need to bring in my description. Looks like I can add in two additional photos for the property. I'm gonna to need to add a link to where this property is listed, the view listing link, and then it looks like I should be solid from there. The rest of this information is being pulled in by the marketing profile. So let's close the preview mode and we're going to come over to the first widget we need to make edits to and that's this image edit, uh, widget. So if I click on it, I can click on the pencil icon and then I'm going to get the ability to edit the image on the right hand side. So right now I'm going to replace this blank image with an image of the property by clicking on replace. You can see I can upload my own images. 
or use listing-based images. This applet is also connected to the MLS, which makes it really simple when you're looking to advertise one of your listings. So I'm gonna put in our property address. There we go, I'm gonna click on view. And here we go, you can see we can now choose from photos directly from the listing. I'm gonna to choose to use this photo as the lead. Do I wanna put any alt text? I don't necessarily need to do that, but you can see there's a tool tip that basically says that's a short description for when the photo doesn't come up. Uh, do I wanna link this photo anywhere? I could choose to if I want to. I could change the width or height of this photo. I could add a border radius or position it left, right, or center. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as is and come down and click on done. And you can see now our image is listed in the center. Next up, we've got the address. This is just a simple text box. I can click on the pencil and we can easily change out the address. Vaughn Lake Circle, baby. Texas 77493. There we go. I'll click on done. All right, perfect. Now the address has been updated. I would go along and do the same for each one of the rest of these text boxes. So I want to update price, bedrooms and bathrooms. I would bring in the description, some additional content. I could come down here and edit these two images just like I did the first one. Finally, we've got a button with a link to it. We want to make sure that we get that actually working. So we would click pencil here. And this is where we would choose to link to either a landing page or a web address. I could put in the web address personally. What I think we should be doing is using our agent site, which all of us have one. If you don't know your agent site, get with your MCTT and they can help you out with that. But we're going to go to martymiller.kw.com. We're going to look up 2422 Fawn Lake Circle. We're going to scroll down. Golly, I cannot spell this morning. We're going to scroll down and find the actual property here. Vaughn Lake Circle 2422, and we'll get there here soon enough. Uh, Vaughn Lake Circle, let's put in Katie, that might help it. Uh, there we go, 2422 Vaughn Lake Katie. That's scrolled too far, it looks like. And we can pull up the listing address, and it's going to be right here at the very top. Do you see this URL? That's going to be the property URL address. So I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to come in and make sure that that's the web address I use for this button. I can also change the width and the height of the button. I can choose a specific font, position, background color, hex color, border type, all of those types of things. For right now, I'm going to leave it as is and click on done. The rest of this email template is all being brought in by our marketing profile, so I should be good to go. I'm going to kick, click on preview one more time, make sure everything looks good. Right, photo looks good, address information all looks good, make sure these photos are gonna look good. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do before I save this design is I'm going to send myself a test email. That way I can make sure that I actually receive it and that it looks good and important really, when you have links embedded, you wanna make sure that those links are working as well. So that's a really important thing to note. If you're gonna embed any links, make sure you send yourself a test so that you can then check it out. Um, I just did that, it was instantaneous. So here is what that email looks like. And you can see I got a preview of it. I'm gonna scroll down and just make sure my link works and you can see that I click on view listing and sure enough, it brought up the property page for that listing. So. That's it for today, guys. A, a quick run through on a just listed template. Um, a, the edits are very similar, whether it's just listed, whether it's just sold, if you're doing a newsletter, essentially you're gonna go through and just make your edits, right? Depending on, let's go back to command, depending on whether you're editing a text box, an image, a button. We're gonna to start tomorrow by utilizing a blank design and we'll show you a few of these other widgets that can be brought into the email design editor tomorrow. As always, I hope you're, ha I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow.